Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. Here's a 2v2 I got from uh, TGX, new, TGX uh, Noob Fried Rice. Uh, big thanks, he gave me a couple of replays. This is one of them. 2v2, he's got Legend Lord. Uh, Legend Lore uh, on his team. I always think of Legend Lord the best uh, TGX player in my opinion. Noob Fried Rice, also pretty good. So, uh, this clan being represented in this game against Voodoo. And uh, Koher, they're definitely uh, two players who play together all the time. Voodoo, one of the best players ever in this game. Glad uh, to see that he's still playing Forge Alliance forever. He's a big fan of 3599. Has some legitimate complaints about Forge Alliance forever. Hopefully they will be fixed. And I really hope to see him in the upcoming Imba Cup too. So I don't know if people heard. Selectionals this Sunday. So uh, hopefully Guile and I will make a couple more videos on those. And then we'll see Imba Cup... Uh, second round around and that should be really good and everybody should turn up for the qualifiers uh, or the selectionals this Sunday and of course Guile needs to start making videos he's been uh, kind of away after that sentence must have really taken everything out of him so uh, looking at this game after wasting your time for about a minute uh, looks like first land with these two players UEF and Aeon and uh, all land uh, once again Cybern and UEF so Cybern versus Aeon UEF on UEF We'll see how this uh, matchup pans out. Of course, in this version of Isis, no rocks in the middle, a little more boring. Personally, I like the other version better, but uh, uh, you can see some paranoia here from uh, Noob Fried Rice. He's made flak in a game with absolutely no planes and not even a factory. That happens. That's, uh, that's a sickness. But uh, we understand. We finally see second air here from Voodoo. It looks like he's got his Hydra. He's got a single engineer and a power spam. Actually, now he's got two engineers. Looks like he's going to go really heavy in power. And now Bomber here from second air. That's a really a lot like Voodoo. He used to do that on uh, open palms. Extremely good build order with uh, aggressive second air. And that's what he's going to do here against Legend. And Legend, of course, also going second air. Uh, very similar. But he's making P-Gens right next to each other here. That's going to be uh, really nice to bomb. Could be a po one possible target, and of course, with air here with his Bomber. Voodoo knows exactly what's happening. He's seeing uh, some hunters coming in from uh, Noob, and Noob actually getting some interceptors up as well. Successful interceptor. We see this one. Didn't kill uh, Noob Fried Rice. His interceptor in time loses the bomber. This is a really nice hunter here from uh, Noob Fried Rice. Taking out an engineer. The engineer tries to fight back and actually wins. That's a hero engineer here from Voodoo. That was excellent. But another hunter here, uh, this time Koher, uh, running away, but uh, and here's a flare as well from Koher uh, chasing this one down. Of course, an ACU from Voodoo is establishing the base, an aggressive base in the middle. Also, we see New Progress picking up some mass extractor with this ACU. And gestures coming up. I've seen a noob do this before. He really loves his gestures. Aggressive Tech 1 uh, interceptors, and it looks like his teammate is on... Uh, board here uh, spamming uh, interceptors quite hard so if uh, this top side or right side can win early air and so far it looks like they're definitely going to do this we see that absolutely no air here from Koher is uh, assuming that Voodoo can do this and Voodoo's making bombers and only a single engineer and only a single factory so they're definitely in trouble here we see Voodoo actually using his interceptors as scouts and they're going to run into a big cloud of interceptors and total domination now by legend and of course now Voodoo's got to be careful, he's got a couple factories, no Tech 2. If you can get in a rush uh, Tech 2 flak in this situation as the left side team, you're going to be in good shape. Tech 2 flak absolutely demolishes these gunships, you see only 500 health. But of course, early on this is one of the greatest weapons in this game. And for people who have questions about faction diversity, it's one answer to that uh, question. And here we see actually some bombing from Voodoo. She took out a couple engineers great stuff but and actually gonna go for a second pass this is ridiculous and you can see that was another uh, two nearly killed uh, actually three an excellent bomber there from a voodoo in spite of uh, legend having total total air control and now voodoo fearlessly uh, running up actually both ACUs and now legend actually taking on Koher some overcharges 
some tech two as well from Koher and here come the gestures we do see tech two land from Koher and if he can make some flak get it into the area he has absolutely no flak he's making blazes and uh... this is really bad and now we see this uh... new pride rice is actually going to chase down Koher some interceptors from Koher run into a cloud of uh, legends interceptors some interceptors from voodoo as well doesn't look like they're going to kill a single well they do kill a single gesture still four in the area and this is not looking good at all great uh, plan from TGX and it's working out to destroy uh, at least Koher here but perhaps they're playing with give it will put voodoo in a very bad situation is actually getting an upgrade and did we have a single T2 flag we see a single T2 flag on the field that voodoo should be able to use it's nice to see that this is with a give so Voodoo is going to have an excellent eco I expect him to do quite well with that and he does have T2 flak so he should be able to defend and of course that explosion from the ACU uh, no give never mind but and actually it doesn't look like Voodoo actually got the tech he does have tech 2 land getting some uh, T2 power and a single T2 flak and of course now Voodoo finished with tech 2 he can choose to put some missiles on that uh, looking at what Legend is doing, also Tech 2 power. Tech 2 land now from uh, Noob Fried Rice, still a Tech 1 air, switching to interceptors and making engineers. So it looks like a little bit of teching now from the left side, from the right side. They really got to uh, take advantage of what they have now because if they let Voodoo just tech for a while, he'll take all this mass and perhaps he can uh, stay in the game. I would really love to see some drops now from Noob Fried Rice into this area prevent any expansion, uh, uh, deny basically these mass extractors don't let the Voodoo just easily take that with a single engineer make him expand some uh, energy but now Voodoo attacking, we got Tech 2 engineer coming in with some Tech 1 forces, of course we got Tech 2 flak that he's made himself, this is the EF Tech 2 flak facing some mongoose, the mongoose will have to retreat on the other side we see aggressive engineers from Noob Fried Rice here coming up in minute 10 now uh, some more scouting from Voodoo. He's actually looks like getting close, very even actually air. And here comes a drop from Voodoo or the le legend, making a long way across the map. Doesn't, it's not clear what it's gonna do. Flying over some flak. A nice aggressive push here from uh, Voodoo, pushing legend back. And it appears that uh, New Pride Rice is gonna play it safe. He doesn't have too much health. He's busy killing Koher, and now he's gonna. Uh, come back home and two mongoose dropped off here excellent this is what legend is definitely got to do he's going to kill off some engineers that are unprotected kill off some mask tractors slow uh, voodoo down although voodoo does have mongoose mongoose or whatever you want to call them uh, of his own and uh... looks like numbers actually 2v2 for now and actually an engineer once again a hero engineer from voodoo uh... takes out another mongoose Excellent work. And now Voodoo actually pushing all the way to the middle. If he can uh, force the uh, right side team all the way to their choke point, he can take over uh, three quarters of the map. But he's got to really close this choke point, otherwise he's going to have trouble here all day. And of course he's got to take air as well. You can see he's made a whole bunch of uh, air factories which are not producing anything. He must have some power problems, although he has two T2 power generators. And let's see what how much he's got. He's got plenty. It's not clear why he's ma not making interceptors. Got plenty of masses you just saw there. And the successful team took taking out those mongoose going back into the field. Be nice to see some units uh, through the uh, top choke point. We see some anti air turrets and point defenses. A nice situation here for uh, new fried rice. And the right side teams really uh, can't be complacent here. They can be in trouble if they don't take advantage of uh, the what they have currently we see some Janus bombers coming out trying to bomb uh, Voodoo and Voodoo now has a really nice situation tech 2 point defense mobile shield and is going to make a T2 generator and of course once you get EF so close to you make some T3 PD you're gonna have a lot of problems the right side team whenever you play in 2v1 you gotta take advantage that you have twice as much micro potential uh, unless of course the other players are way better than you you gotta do things like drops and uh, a little annoying things. You gotta use your units. You don't wanna just uh, out macro the other player. Because in this situation, there won't be an advantage. Some could say that it's actually an advantage to have 
double the units so you can really control twice as much eco better than two players separately. And so far Voodoo now uh, playing, um, putting some uh, TMD, plenty of T2PD, so there's really no option to take him with ground unless you have an experimental here, or a lot of Tech 3. And it appears that uh, New Pride Rice is going Tech 3, New Pride Rice. He's got stealth on his ACU, he's got some Tech 2 power, he's got a whole bunch of Tech 2 mass extractors. And uh, he is known for spiders, and in this situation a spider would kill him, of course, by the time Noob makes that spider, Voodoo can have uh, quite a bit more defense. But perhaps we'll see Legend versus uh, Voodoo here in a UEF versus UEF standoff, and quite a bit of T2 here from both players. And these are Cyber Missile Launchers, notoriously good against UEF TMD, and we're seeing exactly that. They outrange the, t the PD, and they, uh, don't, they don't get killed with the first uh, TMD shot. They split up into multiple missiles, and you can see this is some trouble for Voodoo, so good choice of units there for New Fried Rice. Uh, Voodoo will try to counter this with some shields. One thing about these missiles, they don't have too much damage, but if you get a, uh, enough of them, they will get the job done. And in this situation, you got to put more pressure on Voodoo while he's busy microing up front. You can see his plan, a whole bunch of shields and TMD together. But you have TMD notoriously uh, not good. This could be trouble. A legend making T2PD of his own. In this situation, when a uh, Cyber player does this to you, you really got to pick up your T1 units and rush them, force these away so that your shield can regenerate. So don't let them sus uh, have sustained fire on your missile and on your point defenses. You got to force them back. And here comes a drop. Noob uh, doing a great job. Some Manti. Looks like six Manti. And that is going to steal a lot of valuable concentration from Voodoo. Voodoo is still trying to make enough TMD to stop these. And now we are seeing them. You can see how these missiles split up into other missiles. Very difficult to defend against. And uh, the 6 Manta X only 5. It's a 5 Manta plus a scout. Very valuable scout. And they're going to kill some uh, T2 mask extractors here. And Voodoo responding with some mongoose. Not clear why Voodoo hasn't taken care of this situation. This is a very ridiculous situation. That shouldn't happen. I'm really hoping Voodoo doesn't give up. Looks like he's stuck in his point defense. Getting a raider. Oh, he's got to use his units. He's got to scout and use his units. Force force these uh, missiles back. Although we are now seeing loyalists and new fried rise getting a very formidable uh, Tech 3 force. Of course, loyalists, excellent units. And this is pretty funny. Uh, the Manta have been rescued uh, by new fried rice. He did not let him be killed. He only lost two. Nice, nice to see people take care of the units. If you take care of the units, the units will take care of you. That's definitely a truth. Now looking at what uh, Voodoo is doing, uh, a whole bunch of interceptors, he definitely has enough to control air and gunships. We've seen Voodoo pull an excellent victory against Lucian in the Imba Cup in the uh, semifinals. Uh, actually, it was in the finals. It was, one of the, it was his first win in the best of five in the finals. He was really behind, and he pulled out a bunch of gunships and killed Lucian excellent uh, work and now we see a lot of trouble for Voodoo massive T3, T2, T1 force coming up with some uh, stealth and some T2 flag so uh, this is definitely a prepared force from New Pride Rice and doesn't look like there's much that Voodoo will be able to do he only has tech 2 and the mongoose will absolutely be demolished by uh, the loyalists and now uh, Voodoo is in trouble there's been really expanded a lot of work making this TMD well uh, a tech 3 force really Voodoo needed to push Legend further back to stop this situation from happening and now we're seeing trouble major trouble for Voodoo is about to lose uh, Koher's old base and we can see now Voodoo realizing uh, this is no good making a push of his own and this could be very dangerous for Legend remember this is no give if Legend dies here we can see this Tech 1, Tech 2 force trying to take out uh, the shield successfully, letting the gunships uh, to come in. But perhaps some flak here. And Tech 2 flak, seven kills already on this Tech 2 flak. We can see Voodoo targeting the flag. There's another one in the area. And he's got to kill that other Tech 2 flak, or all these gunships are going to die very quickly.
Actually, this detective flag should have been dead, and Legend really uh, cheats death while Voodoo uh, is getting absolutely demolished at his base. One uh, Tech One Mask Extractor with 60 health left here. A little sloppy from Noob. But uh, we can see why Vood, uh, why TGX uh, New Fried Rice sent me this game. Uh, excellent play from TGX team. Much better teamwork has won this game. Can't imagine Voodoo coming back. First, you, if you remember, they pulled off that excellent gunship rush with Tech One Air, took Koher out of the game, put Voodoo on the back foot. Voodoo perhaps. Uh, could have pushed a little further, but Legend came out, made some T2PDs. We saw great missile launchers preventing Voodoo from expanding, cutting off this choke point, and uh, through here, a massive Tech 3 force went around Voodoo and into his bases. And of course, we also saw this great transport saving his uh, Manti, putting pressure on Voodoo. And I think we saw just how much pressure that was. Voodoo was busy trying to fight, and he had to take care of other problems in his base. And looks like Voodoo. This is going to be his last march into death. Take two ACU, one kill. Not much luck. We see their legend cheated death with that last attack. And a whole bunch of tech one point defense and loyalists. And there goes Voodoo. Hopefully he plays in the Embo Cup. Really love to see him. I really expected him to win the last one, but Lucian was uh, excellent in the final. So hopefully people enjoy this one.